me the poster sex. I think that this post had a special impact on people. Some people agree, some people doesn't agree, but I need to know that if you really understand that, it will make the real change between you being an artist or you give up of your talent. You wanna know what it is? So come with me. Hi, I'm Sira. I was born in an artistic family and as an agent, manager and producer, I've worked for many years selling artists from all around the world. Today, I want to help you to become a full-time artist. Hello, I am Sida and I'm here to help you to become a full-time artist. Today, I want to talk about a post that I made some days ago. That for me was a simple post, but had a real reaction in all my following. So I want to discuss with you because this maybe has some impact on you as well. The post was saying something like, too many creatives quit before it gets easy. Hard things doesn't stay hard, it stay in the course. And most of people came to me, some of them like really motivated and keep going, but many of them were like really pissed off with this post because they say that I already do this for so long. Why I'm not getting there? Why I cannot become a full-time artist? Why people are not buying from me? And all these type of questions. And when people ask questions, I come here to give answers. And to start, I totally agree with this sentence. And I will explain you why I agree with that. And then we're going to discuss how you can apply this on your life. To start, every time that we are starting something, we have a curve of learning. There's something that you don't know, that you want to know. So you will start to have the basic ideas, to develop fundamental knowledge about that situation. And it means that in the beginning, you have no competence. It means that you cannot do whatever you are intending to do. When I was a kid, for example, I would start to play the piano and I was completely incompetent playing the piano. I had no idea about what the keys do or how I should position my hands or anything like that. Over time, you will start to have a little bit more knowledge and you will start to understand the basic things that you should be doing. So you start to have more competence. The problem is that people imagine that the competence in time gets like this. You have no competence and you start to train and at some point you get a lot of competence and you become a guru on whatever you're deciding to do. But this is not what happened. What happened is what happened in this graph that I want to show you right here. The Dunning-Kruger effect. Put in one X competence. It means that you don't know something and at some point you know something. Versus confidence. You have no confidence and then you have a lot of confidence. Why people imagine it is that you start with no competence and no confidence and with more competence you start to rise your confidence and it's almost like a straight line. What happens is that you start to do something like me playing the piano and when I start to play the first song for me it was the song of Titanic. I was passionate by that movie at that time. I was a kid, so I went to the piano and I was trying this song over and over and over and over again. And at some point I could play the song. I don't know if I remember anymore, but at that time I could play the song. My confidence level went to the roof. I was like, oh my God, I'm the best player ever. I can do that. I, I, now I have everything figured out. I'm amazing playing the piano. I had no much competence yet. I was just playing one song and for the first time, but my confidence level was like skyrocket. And what happened after? Well, what happened after is that I decided to play another song. What's well, not so easy anymore. 
I said, okay, maybe I'm choosing the wrong song. Let's try a second song or a third song and a fourth song and so on. And no matter the song I was trying to play, I could see lots of mistakes. And then my confidence level started to drop a lot. I was imagining that I will never be able to play anything. I am here in despair, I, I'm stupid, I have no confidence at all how I can do this. What this craft shows is that if you persist, if you keep trying to get more confidence in whatever you are doing, you will start to rise again the level of your confidence. Every time that you're learning something new, you don't know anything at the beginning. What's normal? It's something new. But the more you practice, the more experience you have, the more insights you start to have. And those insights will bring you some knowledge and those together will give you some confidence. So you start to have some moments of enlightenment and you start to go up on your confidence level till you reach a plateau of sustainability. And what is this? It's when you know so much about something that your insights are not so profound anymore. However, your level of competence is so good that your confidence starts to get stable. If I decided that I would overcome my fears, I would overcome this feeling of, oh my God, I'm terrible, I cannot do that. At some point, I would be playing the piano in a way that is natural, that is something that just come to me. When you achieve this plateau, you don't have all the cool insights anymore, but you also don't have the valley of the spirit. Oh my God! On this graph, that's the name that they give for each one of these points. When you start, you go to the mount of stupidness. You're stupid because you think that you know everything and of course you don't know you just started you just have like a lot of confidence because you made one thing right and we can see this over and over again remember when you were drawing for the first time and whatever thing that you did you look at that and it's like oh my god that's the best masterpiece in the whole world that's what i want the world to see and then you start to study more and you start to have some technique and you start to drop your confidence because now you already have knowledge enough to see the mistakes that you were doing before. You start to have knowledge enough to see that actually you are not competent. And when you start to have this situation, you go to the valley of despair. On the valley of despair is exactly where people quit. They feel, I cannot do that. I, it's impossible. Every time that I try, something goes wrong and my confidence level goes away. But if you keep going, if you keep studying, if you keep practicing, you start to develop these moments of enlightenment. Enlightenment. Yeah, I think that's it. <laughs> and you get to the plateau that is sustainable for you. And I love this graph because it shows why that draw that we made when we were a kid was our masterpiece, was the best thing in the world. And now you look at that and imagine, this is the worst thing I ever made in my life. Oh my God. How can I do this? And that's pretty normal. I'm telling you this story because if you want to become a full-time artist, you will feel this. 
because everyone feels this at some point. I felt this playing the piano, but I also felt this talking to the camera. I also felt this the first time that I was making um, essay for my school. I felt that the first time that I was learning anything in my life. And I bet that you also have the same experience. Every time that you're trying to learn something new, you're going to have this exactly sensation. What makes you different from someone that quit? from someone that doesn't quit is if you're going to be brave enough to keep doing. And when I'm talking about being a full-time artist, you need to make your talent to reward you and somehow. Because life is tricky and it will give you limited resources of time, money and energy. When we are kids, we have tons of energy. I could run the whole day. We have all the time in the world. We can do whatever we want. I bet you too. When we start to grow up, we start to have more responsibilities. Now you have jobs. Now we have family. Now we have people that depend on us. When these things happen, you don't have much energy as you had before. You don't have much time as you had before. If you are in your 20s, maybe you have more money in your hands than when you were on your 30s with two kids to support. What happens in general for most of the artists is that they get in a certain point in life where they need to make a decision. They need to put this energy, this time, and this money into something. If you have a choice to make and your art is not rewarding you with something, money, free time, or anything that is success for you, it will be easy for you to give up art and go to whatever the other option is maybe a new job that will bring more money to your house, more time to your kids. If you want to become a full-time artist, the only way that you can do this is finding a way to your art reward you and somehow. And if you are in this valley of despair right now, the possibility that you quit your art, it's huge. And I don't want you to quit your art. Art business is hard. It is. Find your audience is hard. It's super hard. Knowing how to deal with social media. Oh my God, this is super hard as well. We have so many things that we need to learn. We have so many things that we need to invest on to have some return. That it's normal that at some point, you're going to feel in this valley. You're going to feel that you should give up everything because it's not worthwhile. My question for you is, how important for you is your art? Because for me, when I was playing the piano, the piano was just a hobby and I was okay with this. So I quit the piano and I decided to do other things. And if your art it's just a hobby. Okay, you don't need to even be watching this video here because you're already okay with the situation. However, if your art is your life, if your art is a piece of you, if you understand that you have something inside you, that if you quit your art, you're going to be quitting a part of yourself, you cannot quit. And you need to invest on have knowledge, guidance, and have motivation to go on. Don't give up because you are in this valley. Just keep going. You will get there. And if you need more knowledge, I'm here every Wednesday with a new video giving you knowledge. You also can follow my Instagram at SuraArt and you have more knowledge for free there. 
And if you need some motivation, we have an exclusive club just for artists just like you who need support to go on. So don't quit. We have resources. We have a way to get there. Don't leave this valley of despair. Take something that is so important from you. Because can you go to bed every day knowing that you gave up the most important thing of your life? Can you wake up every day knowing that you don't have your art anymore? Because if you are an artist who resonates with this message, you can't. And I'm here to help you. See you next Wednesday. I need to tell you that I have a full masterclass for free. How can you take the leap and become the artist that you want to become? It's not a sales pitch. In this masterclass, I will help you with a real training that will give you the step by step. So if you want to check this, go here in this website and you watch a two hour class totally for free so you can start to be a full-time artist right now. Thank you so much for keeping making art.